All right, guys, this is part two of the solar setup and seeing how well this works in a heavily shaded area. Yesterday, we did about 12 hours and only used like 17% of the solar. Reconnected it last night because we want to have the air conditioning on. But today, I'm going to disconnect again and let's see how well this thing does. Let's do this. Okay, so you can kind of see how shaded this area is. This park doesn't have great sunlight, but we're going to kill the power here. I'm really curious to see. Okay, so we're in solar only now, and we're gonna cut some of the lights inside just to have the minimum going. But we're gonna see how well this thing does today. So what I'm sharing here is a screenshot from the app from the battery shunt connected to my phone, just showing solar production of when I shut off. And you can kind of see, it's not producing a lot of power back here. So we can see yesterday, we got a max of about 150 watts into the solar system. I'll be real curious to see how this thing does today. Right now it's producing like 23 watts. You know, we got a lot of little phantom electricity right now going throughout the trailer, stuff like that, monitoring of other devices. But I might just keep this disconnected for the next few days now and see how well this thing does. Fridge on, let's see where we're at. About the right temp inside. Can see this is on right now. So at this point, I'm turning down the outside refrigerator just to the minimum needs. All right, so we did three days camping. We were able to get about 18 hours a day and we still had like 60, 70% charge left. Couldn't run the air conditioning, but I definitely believe if you've got better sunlight than this, you'd have no issue at all running a full family in this place without much of an issue 24 seven, as long as you got some sunlight. This thing produces good energy and it doesn't use all that much energy to keep going. But if you are in shade and if you don't get sunlight and you are trying to max, you know, running a dryer, I noticed when my wife put her blow dryer on, it was pulling a 108 amp draw. You would drain a 200 amp hour battery in an hour and some change. So if you're going to do stuff like that, you're going to need a lot more batteries or you can just try to minimize those things and you can still use one of these solar setup setups without an issue at all. As I mentioned in part one of the solar series for this trailer, this is the Keystone Solar Flex 400i with 440 watts of solar on the roof, but also 200 amp hours of the Dragonfly lithium ion batteries. I will put a link down below for the first video of this, sharing more information about what this solar system is, if you're interested in it. All right, we're gonna get back in the road. It's kind of a nasty day on Memorial Day. All right, I wanna include the next clip on this. So as you see right here, you're looking at a lot of down trees. Uh, we were actually camping up in Silver Lake, Michigan, Silver Lake uh, Sand Dune area, Mirrors, Michigan, here recently, and there was a bad storm. They didn't necessarily say it was a tornado, but one of the campgrounds up there, the uh, Silver Lake State Campground, was hit pretty hard, and there were a lot of downed trees. We were thankful that we didn't stay at that campground because there were some trees that came down in spots where campers were at just the prior day's camping. There was already a cleanup crew and linemen already working on this. It was wild. I've not seen something like this. And this is the second time now that we have been in a camping situation where there's been some nasty weather and it's kind of sketchy. But because having the solar setup that we have, we were really thankful and we utilized it on this trip because of the storms we lost power. We actually had to use our solar last night, not by choice. We actually had some pretty nasty weather up in Mears, Michigan on a camping trip. And in the middle of the night, tornadoes and tornadoes and nasty weather. And uh, fortunately we had the solar because we could keep the refrigerators going and whatnot. Uh, and more fortunately, we were fine. It was a small hail. I don't think any of the vehicles got damaged. Uh, I gotta still check them over. I think the Bronco is okay, um, but it was pretty nasty and we're really thankful for the uh, solar batteries and whatnot. And actually, I'm gonna check that system right now just to show you guys how uh, the batteries held up on this. So let's check this out. So as you can see right there, we are producing about 58 watts of solar, which is still nothing, but you can kind of see, we don't have great you know, sky. We got a lot of shade in this area right here, but 58 watts of solar, we lost electricity at 
5 a.m. It's 4 p.m. right now. So we're at about 11 hours and we're still sitting at 87% uh, charge on the battery. We've got the outside refrigerator going, inside refrigerator going. We've had some lights on. We've charged some RC car batteries and things are still in pretty good shape. I was just told by the campground that power was just restored, which is great. So I'm gonna check this here. We're gonna connect this now and I'm just gonna show you how we're disconnected. You can see we got no power on here. Nothing going up there. Power is off. And we're about to check. Let's see if this is true that we have power now. We sure do. Awesome. Okay, 123 volts, zero amps. Line two, 124, zero amps. Okay, cool. So the system's all on. Thankfully, we're good. Got a few branches on the roof I got to clean off. Um, nasty, scary storm. Hail. Um, we got to check over the Bronco real good. I'm hoping the way it was parked that we had some good protection. Hopefully there's nothing damaged on either vehicle. Um, but the Silver Lake campground did not fare so well. It, I, it was really ugly. People could have been hurt. Unfortunately, no one was. But that's fun with camping. And fortunately, we're in a trailer and not in tent. But our neighbors down there were in a tent. And they actually uh, made it through the night, but they said it was super scary. I mean, the one of the tents got tore up a little bit from the, the hail. But anyhow, this is the third video I've now done on this 440 uh, watt Solar Flex 400i system in the Keystone Passport. And I'm super impressed with how well this does. This thing has bailed us out now at two different camp trips. And it's really nice knowing, look at, look at all this nasty debris. I mean, it just kind of shows you, but shows you the capability of these systems and i'd like to have even more power i might look at getting some auxiliary panels to put on this anyhow so anyhow i hope you enjoy the video if you do feel free to give me a thumbs up thanks for watching